Hey everybody, this is Will Middleton and in this video we're going to talk about how you can create a custom post type in the back end of your WordPress website and display those posts based on an order that you determine in Elementor. So what we're imagining here is that I am a tech person who's reviewing different, uh, creating different reviews on tech products, hardware and software will be the categories that we create and we will be ordering these posts based on category and based on the uh, order that we select manually. So we're gonna recommend some products more than we recommend other products and we want to support the ability to order our items manually based on a number that we select. We're gonna be using advanced custom fields, we're gonna be using Elementor Free and Elementor Pro in this tutorial. Just those three plugins, we can create a tech review site where we review a couple different categories of products and then create an archive page where we show those products based on how much we recommend those products. So let me log into my local site here. There we go. Okay, cool. So heading into the plugins area, I'm gonna to need to install my three plugins, advanced custom fields. We will also install Elementor after this one. Go to add new plugin, Elementor. Install. Activate. Then we'll close the setup wizard and we'll go back to plugins, add new plugin, upload plugin. I'm gonna upload my Elementor Pro that I downloaded from my account. Activate the plugin, activate my Elementor license. Awesome. So now I'm good to go. I've got my three plugins, Advanced Custom Fields, Elementor, and Elementor Pro all installed and activated. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head to ACF here on the back end, and I'm gonna create a new post type called reviews. Because on this site, we're gonna be creating reviews of hardware and software products. I'm gonna select categories. I'm gonna support different taxonomies. I could um, support category as a taxonomy. I could also create my own custom taxonomy if I wanted to, but in this case, we are just going to select categories and save changes. And so what this is gonna do is on the left-hand side, I have reviews and I also have categories that I could create for my reviews. So if I go to all reviews, let's just imagine this is software review one, publish that. We could of course add images, text, anything we wanted to. Review two, not 32, software review two, let's publish that. Create a new one, software review three, and then we'll create a hardware review too. Cool. So we've got four reviews on our website of three different software products and then a hardware review. And now we wanna create categories based on these uh, different types of reviews we'll be doing. We'll create a software category and we'll create a hardware category so we have our software and hardware categories created, and now that we have those created, we can apply these categories to our reviews. So those three will be in the software category, then our hardware review will be in the hardware category. And so over on the right, you can see we have our hardware category and our software category, which has three reviews in it. And so now, we wanna dive into Elementor and create an archive page to display my software reviews. And we wanna display these reviews in a certain order. So we'll say software reviews, and we'll say these are ordered by most recommended on top and least recommended on bottom. Publish the page. I'm gonna go ahead and launch into Elementor now and with Elementor Pro, I'm gonna use the posts block. Let's see, how do I get this pop-up to go away? Okay, just reload the page. So we'll go to posts, and I'm gonna add this post block to my page, or I think Elementor calls these widgets. And you can customize these a lot. You could create cards, you could customize the background, the little hover effect, all kinds of things like that but I'm gonna keep it simple and not go through the layout settings. We're just gonna go into the query settings. The query settings allow us to say what kind of post you wanna display in your list. And for me, 
I'd like to show reviews. So we're gonna show reviews and we see we have all four reviews that I've created, but this is the software reviews page. I don't wanna show the hardware review. So in my block, if I edit my query, I can say include by term. The term is gonna be software, category software. So only show posts in the category software. We're going to um, order by menu order and that's gonna allow me to determine a certain order uh, manually. So I wanna say, um, the one I recommend the most, the ones I recommend second most and third most. So let's just update this for now and I'll show you how we can manually determine the order that we want to show these posts. So click update, give it a second to do that. I'll jump back out to WordPress here and in order for us to manually determine which of these we want to order, let's just uh, say real quick for, for my sake, this is the top one. This is the one I'm gonna recommend the most. And then if I go back, maybe number one is the second one. Say so this is second most recommended. And then for review two, we'll say this is the least recommended. There we go. So my order is number three is most recommended, followed by number one, then number two. So I want it to be three, one, two, basically, on my page. And what I'll do is I'll head to ACF, post types and we'll add a feature to my reviews post type if I scroll down we're gonna do advanced configuration and we're gonna select page attributes that's gonna allow me to determine menu order on my my reviews so if I go to my quick edit I'll see order up here this is gonna be the menu order and this one is the most recommended it should be number one on the list so we'll say number one second most recommended was the software review one and then third most recommended or least recommended was this one. So it should be 312. So now if I go back to my Elementor, I'm gonna reload my software reviews page and we want it to be 312. So if I go to edit posts, layout query, we can see we're ordering by menu order but descending. So it's gonna be three, two, one. And so we need to change this to ascending. 312. So this is the most recommended, second most recommended, third most recommended. And so that's how we can create a setup where we have a custom post type on our WordPress website. We manually determine the order of these post types using menu order, and then we display them in Elementor, but only based on category. So we can imagine this website would have a lot more software reviews on it. I might have 30 reviews, 15 of them are hardware, 15 are software, and they're all in different orders of being recommended. But this is the fundamentals of how you can create this kind of setup where you manually determine the order and segment your reviews based on most recommended to least recommended. And for this idea, we might actually do like a one column layout because we'd want the top one to display on top. and kind of a scrolling effect like that. But this has been Will Middleton. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or tech setups you wanna see in Elementor or WordPress and I can show you how to create almost anything you want inside of WordPress. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.